After gathering a ton of inspo, refreshing IKEA's website at least 100 times for curbside pickup availability, adopting some veggies from my good friend Yamin, and falling in love with gardening, DIYing some decor pieces, adopting more veggies, and taking a total of 8 trips to Home Depot, our balcony is finally complete. The first thing I did was clean out the balcony space. We never really spent time out there so the spiders had taken over and colonized. There were literally webs in every corner and what's crazy is that even now, after I've cleaned up everything, a ton of webs will form overnight. So I think cleaning is going to have to be a frequent thing out here. And this is a space that we're working with. Our building is yellow and I really didn't like the walls at first but have actually grown to like it a lot after filling up the space. After gathering some inspo, I chose to go for the modern grey courtyard look and it turned out that these grey tones went really well with those yellow walls. And as you can see, the space was super bare and the goal was to make it cozy and walkable without needing shoes. So after cleaning up the entire balcony space, we went ahead and installed in these privacy screens. We did this very first because we wanted privacy of course as we were working on this area, um, but also ended up being a really great kind of blocker for the visual noise behind it. We have this like huge parking lot where our building is, so it was great for cancelling all that out as we were filming this video. We got the privacy screen from Amazon and trimmed it to fit our railing. It was straightforward to install, we just used the provided zip ties to secure it on tightly against our railing. And it also comes with rope in case you need it, and I'll add a link to the one that we got below. Then we tackled the flooring. Guys, I had been eyeing these snap-on deck tiles for the longest time. I really wanted the grey ones because they look modern and won't show dust when they get dirty. I looked everywhere and the ones from IKEA are the cheapest but they were closed and I would literally check every day for a curbside pickup slot and there was zero hope so that was the main reason why we left the patio on pause for two months but with patience we were finally able to pick it up and we literally took the last of what they had at the IKEA that we had visited and on top of that the grey ones were on sale so the wait was much rewarded. These are also so easy to install. You can mix and match the pattern like we did or have it all be vertically or horizontally placed. And instead of sawing them to flush out to the edge where the wall is, we ended up leaving those open gaps to fill it in with pebbles later. On this day, we filled in those open gaps between the tiles and the wall that you saw earlier with pea pebbles. So 48 pounds of these pebbles only cost $5 at Home Depot, so please don't buy pebbles off Amazon. They will include high shipping costs due to their weight. And instead of using these right away, we rinsed them first with water in a big plastic tub. And that's why they look darker here because they were still wet as we were laying them out. We ended up using a small scooper shovel to tuck them in and flatten them out and um, these also help to cover up the snap-on edges of some of the tiles. And here's how they look after they've dried. I love how they give off that zen vibe and how the grey pebbles blend in really well with the tile color. And lastly, as you can see, we have this power outlet here. I was so happy about this because I knew that we wanted outdoor lighting. And so what we ended up doing is getting an extension cord so that it can reach the edge of the railing where we plan to start setting up the outdoor lights. And you'll see that later in this video. And what we did was just tuck it away at the edge of the tile. It starts here and then we just kind of tucked it below and against the tiling so it looks really flush. And then the extension cord ends right there, and that's where the outdoor lights will start. So there was a period in June when there was a lot of outdoor furniture and decor sale everywhere, and that was when I scored these rail hanging planters at TJ Maxx for half off. I love how they're in the same black wicker material as our balcony chairs, and also how they have removable plastic planters inside them with drainage holes. 
I was a little worried at first that everything was starting to look too muted, gray, and black, but I do like how these planters look clean against the rail and make the greenery really pop. I thought herbs would fit great in these planters, so I went and bought some cilantro, sweet basil, and mint and transplanted them in. Herbs require really good drainage, so I carved out the drainage holes to be as big as possible. I looked it up and found out that basil and mint can be planted by each other, so I placed them in one planter and then the two cilantros in the other. It's such a pleasant experience no longer having to buy these herbs and getting to harvest them straight from the balcony. So here are the other vegetables that I'm growing. This is a tomato plant here. I actually adopted this from my friend Yamin when it was like a tiny seedling. And same goes with the chilies that are right there getting some sunlight. They both started so small and they're just growing so fast. And yeah, it's just been so rewarding taking care of these and watching them grow. I created some fun and affordable DIY pieces for the balcony and there were great ways to add some personal style to the space. I created these no-sew pillows for the patio chairs, a hanging planter, and my favorite, this mini fire pit. So if you're curious about how I made these, check out this separate tutorial video that I made for these. My favorite part of all of this, which is curating everything we've gathered and bringing it all together. So by this last day, we had prepared and built all the furniture pieces that will go in this space. Starting with the yellow end wall, we placed two of these Hillis shelf units from Ikea. I love how the metal shade and low height of the shelves bring that blank yellow wall and the gray flooring together. I filled these shelf units up with storage baskets to store extra soil and pebbles and I also found this really cute outdoor basket, it's usually for silverware but ended up using it to hold our gardening tools and lastly I placed our chilies up on the top unit. I love how it's like our little nursery section. Then I placed this rug by the shelves to dedicate a seating area. I love how this rug blends in well with the gray tiles. It keeps it easy on the eyes and looks clean and it's super cozy. Also love how it's pretty basic and can match most furniture pieces. I didn't want to go too colorful or busy out here to maintain that calm courtyard zen feel that we're going for. After filling up the shelf, we placed this plant in the corner on this little pot stand that actually goes with a different pot, the one that I used for the fire pit, but it worked really well here to give the plant some height. Then I placed these seating pieces. I added this dark brown bench first, which brings some warmth to the space and matches the dark brown basket. And I styled it with these outdoor cushions that I got for half off at World Market. I'm loving all of the discounts that I found for this video. Then I placed these black chairs which contrast well against the light gray rug and I styled them with those DIY pillows that I made. And for the center, I added this side table that we'd already had in our studio room. It's small and snug out here and fits the mini fire pit perfectly. And I'd love to find a lower, bigger table in the future, but this works great for now. And to finish it off, we wrapped the railing with the outdoor lights. I had some extra zip ties from the privacy screen and they worked great for keeping the lights secure onto the railing. These lights instantly change up the mood and make the space so cozy. And here's the final reveal. That is it for the balcony makeover video. I hope you enjoyed it and enjoyed watching our process as we went over it. Since completing that space, we've definitely been spending a lot more time out there. I think it makes a huge difference that we no longer need to get some outside shoes to go out there and the patio space now just feels like an extension of our home. Also, now that it's so much more cozier, we used to like never step foot out there. We're finding ourselves wanting to spend more time out there. So if the weather is nice and we're eating breakfast, we'll want to eat it outside. So I feel like having this balcony 
family space has not just been a huge benefit for our home but also a huge plus for our lifestyle. The funny thing is that we've also been seeing more birds and bugs hanging out out there so I think everybody's loving our new balcony space and now we're considering maybe getting some sort of umbrella and awning to protect us from bird poop but also just protect a lot of the stuff that we have out there from dust and from the rain. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this makeover video and also make sure to add all of the products that I show in this video in the description box as well. If you aren't already make sure to subscribe to my channel and when you do click that button also click that little bell next to it so that you're notified when I do upload future videos around home decor, DIY, and home lifestyle. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.